Hi, today I'm reviewing the CASRX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. So I, uh, well, recently the CASRX brand came to Ulta, which kind of got me interested in them. I've tried a lot of their products, and for the most part, I quite like uh, most of their products. They've got a lot of good products for... Uh, like treating blackheads and whiteheads so those are always uh, interesting a lot of good toners and uh, their sunscreen isn't at Ulta but I found it on another website so I thought I had to pick it up and give it a try I'm always on the lookout for a good sunscreen and the fact that this was an SPF of 50 uh, kind of got me even more excited I like a good uh, high level sunscreen for days when I'm out and about so um, I thought I had to give this a try uh, this sunscreen is not necessarily a mineral or chemical. It's a combination of both. So it's got some mineral, some chemical sunscreens in there. Um, and then it's an SPF of 50, and that's got the PA++, which is means it has a good, solid, broad spectrum coverage. Um, in Korea and I think Japan and a few other countries, they don't go by broad spectrum. They go by PA. So the more pluses it has behind the PA, uh, the higher the level of coverage. So this one has pretty high level because it's got three pluses after the PA. So um, I'm going to kind of let you guys know my thoughts on it. So my first criteria on the Sarah score scale is packaging, and they've done a really nice job packaging this in a good solid uh, opaque squeeze tube, which protects the product from exposure to light and air and also makes it a little bit more easy to travel with. Uh, especially for a sunscreen you usually go on the beach or something you want to bring this with so um, they've done a nice job packaging it simply but they've done a good job with that my second criteria is alcohol and this does have um, denatured alcohol in it it is 11th on the list so it's not as big if it were like one of the first few ingredients there's some schools of thought that say the first five ingredients of a product are the only ones that matter I don't necessarily know that that's, I don't really subscribe to that theory, but the fact that it's not way up at the top means it's that it's not as big of a concern as it normally would be. However, I'd like to see it closer to the bottom of the list and only being really used as like an emulsifier. But anyway, they have included in it. And it's just not as big of an issue as had it been at the top. But if you have very sensitive skin or very dry skin, you're probably going to want to avoid this one because of that reason. My number third criteria is fragrance, and this does have fragrance. Again, this one is the second to the last on the ingredient list, and it's not heavily scented, so you can't no, you don't really notice it much, and it dissipates uh, almost immediately after application. It still would be better without any fragrance, so I don't like seeing that on any list, especially on sun products, uh, just because when you're out in the sun more, your skin is more vulnerable to being irritated and things like that, especially with some chemical sunscreen ingredients in there. So um, it would be better that they had left it out of the ingredient list. But again, thankfully, it's second to the last of the ingredients, so it's not as big of an issue there. And then my number fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this one is made in Korea, so there's no issues there. My fifth criteria is ease of use, and this is very easy to use. It spreads uh, smoothly and evenly over your skin and absorbs pretty quickly and leaves your skin feeling hydrated and not dry like a lot of other sunscreens can do. Um, so you can kind of see it's a little bit thicker than some other sunscreens, but it does absorb nicely into your skin. So let me just show you on my hand there. Very easy to smooth over, and again, it leaves your skin looking and feeling nice, soft, hydrated, not feeling dry or looking dry at all. So... Um, that's a good thing. Uh, sometimes the mineral or physical sunscreens have a tendency to leave your skin looking or feeling dry, and this one doesn't do that at all, so that's a good thing. My number six criteria is antioxidants, and this really doesn't contain a ton of antioxidants in it. Um, it does have vitamin E in there, and then it's got uh, dipotassium glycerzinate. I don't know how to say that, but it's an antioxidant. So it's got a couple in there, not a ton. I'd like to see a little bit more. And of course, the main uh, ingredient here is the aloe water juice. So that's a good thing. But they focus more on the emollients than they did the antioxidants. So that's kind of the route. Uh, they went with this sunscreen, which there's nothing wrong with that. It just would have been better had they included some more antioxidants in here. Uh, my number seven criteria is animal testing and Casarex from uh, everything I've read online is cruelty free, which is uh, definitely a very good thing we like. 
My number eight criteria is performance, and uh, this performs quite well. I love the fact that it's an SPF 50, which is above the gold standard of 30. And then the PA++ indicates it's got uh, pretty good uh, broad spectrum coverage. And uh, it's not a sunscreen that you feel like it's a sunscreen, like you're putting on a sunscreen. It just feels like you're putting a moisturizer on your face, which is nice. It makes you more likely to use it. Uh, and makeup goes on nicely over it. So um, I use this. When I, I'm, when I use this, I typically don't use a primer over it. Uh, I think it does a good job, but it does it does a nice job hydrating without making your skin feeling greasy at all or looking greasy or looking dry or flaky like some of the mineral sunscreens can do. So they've done a really nice job with this product for the most part and very thoughtful of the ingredients that they chose. So uh, it performs quite well. I've never gotten burned wearing this ever. So that says something about it. My number nine criteria is price, and this is pretty affordable. This is the full size, which is 1.69 ounces, and uh, the price is $15, so it's not very expensive at all. Uh, it's comparable to a lot of the drugstore brands out there, so uh, not very expensive. You're probably not going to feel like you need to, uh, you know, use just a little bit because you want to make it last longer. And from all the research I've done, uh, the standard amount for your face is about a nickel-sized dollop, and then for your neck and decollete, another nickel size. And then if you're using sunscreen for the rest of your body, they indicate about a shot glass size full of sunscreen. So that's the amount you want to be using. Don't, uh, don't pinch pennies on that because really sunscreen is the only true anti-aging product you can use. So, And then my number 10 criteria is the it factor. And I did give this a thumb up there. I love a good sunscreen that's hydrating. Uh, definitely would have liked to seen them not include the fragrance and perhaps lessen the amount of alcohol a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, I have sensitive skin and I didn't have any issues using this. So uh, that says something about it. And uh, I just like a sunscreen that doesn't feel like you're putting a sunscreen on it. More feels like you're putting a moisturizer or a serum on your skin. So um, yeah, so it's got a lot of good features, some not so good, but um, overall, it's a decent product and one worth checking out, in my opinion. So um, overall, on the scale of 1 to 10, it's got a 7 out of 10, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this or not. And uh, if you haven't tried this, have you tried anything else from the Casa Rex brand? And uh, if so, what have you tried and how have you liked it? So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least a one new review every day. And as always, check out nobsbeauty.net. I'm adding uh, new reviews to it uh, daily. And uh, check out the Amazon link below if you want to help support the channel. Thank you so much, guys.